Evo wall breakers got a really interesting rework in the recent balance changes. The question is, are they finally good? This is what I'm gonna try to find out. Now let's go. Here we are in game number one facing a dagger digits player. Back in the old days against the princess tower, we used it to split the wall breakers and always with that we were getting positive elixir trades. But now against the dagger digits, even if you place it both of them on one side, you are going to get nothing. I feel like dagger digits is one big reason why wall breakers disappeared in the meta so hugely like that. Minor in defense, I feel like we are facing some kind of Pekka Bridge spam deck by looking at the bandit. Okay, I drill by him. Well, that was not something that I was expecting. I'm gonna use the goblin gang. Okay, he used the log so I can use the bass to drain the Duchess Amos. And going with the wall breakers after that, hopefully. Void against the firecracker. I guess the plan has been failed. Without something to drain the Duchess Amos, wall breakers are just completely useless in offense. So let's just use them in defense. With that, Yes, yes, we are going to counter that bandit completely. The key is just using the card in the right way. Minor in defense against the drill. Mega Knight is the better option, but I don't want to give him a free pickup value. So we are going to keep the Mega Knight for the double elixir. It will be better in that time. I am having a really crazy idea. I'm gonna go with the firecracker now. Yes, let's go. Our firecracker traded each other's and as well we got some damage on top of the enemy's tower. I'm taking that at any time of the week. Let's go with the Mega Knight now. He might honestly not be having the Pekka. It might just be a drill deck with the bandit. Okay, evil wall breakers are ready. Voiding the Inferno Tower and going with the wall breakers now. Alright, show me what you are made of, evil wall breakers. One connection. Double connection on top of the enemy's tower, that was a really good amount of damage, plus one wall breaker has been blown up by the bandit near the tower, which means we got some extra damage from that. Wall breakers in defense, bro really tried to predict the goblin gang with the fireball. Well, that was a huge elixir trade for me, so it is time to build a big mega knight push and hopefully end this game with it. Let's go with the goblin gang to block the inferno tower, okay, I'm gonna avoid this. Now, going with the arrows to finish the Inferno Tower, the Wall Breakers now, the Mega Knight is going to jump. Yes, let's go, a big Mega Knight jump on top of the enemy's tower, the Wall Breakers are going to connect and this should be it. G to the G's. In game number 2, we are facing someone with the name of Slim Shadi. Actually, the Wall Breakers were not that bad in the last match. Let's see how good they are going to be against this player. We are facing lava, that is a big bad news. We don't have that much of air defenses in this deck. Void against the lava. Oh no. That was a really bad void. I should have avoided the lava hunt a lot earlier. Can we somehow someone survive this? Honestly, I think we are dead. That tower is going to get destroyed. Coming back from this is probably not going to be easy, but still, I'm gonna try my best. Our wall breakers are ready, so let's do a little bit of evil wall breakers action. Go wall breakers, you can do it! Oh boy, we are in a bad situation. One thing that I am sure about is, he's out of spells, so this should do a really good job for us hopefully. Unfortunately, I don't have enough elixir to take down his inferno dragon in time, but still, we got some damage, I'm gonna take that at any time. Firecracker in defense against the dragons. I'm gonna drain the Dutch Amos and after that going with the wall breakers. Hopefully one or two wall breaker might be able to connect. Okay, never mind. He used the snowball. Oh hey, lava hound. Well I guess his tower might go down in this push. My void is ready in case he go with the inferno dragon. Okay. That should be a tower down for us. Now I just have to defend and not let my tower to go down against this lava loon push. The evil bots against the balloon. That was not the best arrows by me. But it's fine. We are surviving. The evil knight is going to the other side. I'm gonna use the void against the evil knight. If you don't know, the void is passing the evil knight's shield. Lava in the back by him, the best thing to do is just going with the Mega Knight in the bridge. I really don't think there's a better thing to do. Okay, wall breakers. 
people get some damage hopefully now the question is can we defend this push that is going to be a hard thing to do but i'm gonna try my best arrows against the evo bomber void you are going to be our saver please don't let the balloon to no way the balloon was able to get one shot maybe we need to change our deck i changed my deck to evo recruits arrows bait deck i think that makes sense since arrows hard counters the wall breakers and added as well some more air defenses now i want to face a lava hound player splitting the goblins i'm gonna arrow the guards with that we might be able to break through on the right hand side wait he just used the lock he's now not having any good answers to the wall breaker so go wall breakers this is your best chance okay speaking of buildings they are one of the best answers to the wall breaker especially the evo tesla which is so popular right now my void is ready to use it against the tesla you know what it makes more sense to use it against the little prince so that we can stop his three card cycle the recruits might be able to take down the tesla so i'm gonna go with the actually that was a really bad wall breakers but it's fine we are going to cycle the evo version faster with it tesla and defense the goblins against the evo knight and i need to go with the phoenix against the miner as well otherwise that miner is just not going to die thank goodness the evo knight targeted the tesla otherwise it would have been really bad for us good void against the little prince the right hand recruits are probably dead so i'm gonna focus on the left hand ones where's your evo tesla buddy yes let's go i knew he's having the evo tesla in cycle so i did not go with the evo wall breakers there's a better chance hopefully for us using the recruits to protect the firecracker and going with the yes let's go he used both of his spells are you serious how he cycled so fast with the tesla well go goblins okay that was not good at all for us void once again against the little prince we have to stop that three card cycle otherwise there's no way for us to break through my tesla should take care of the enemy's tesla firecracker in the right goblins against the miner okay bro is just spell cycling us from now i really hate that go wall breakers please the tesla bro i feel like that tesla is single handedly countering my whole deck honestly that is a fun fact like my weak condition is only the wall breakers and they just can't go through the tesla nice uh, snipe with my phoenix and the tesla the phoenix should respawn once again firecracker is chipping away his right hand tower wall breakers in the left since he used his spells go wall breakers the tesla once again i feel like there's just no way he's going to be having the tesla ready just in time always okay i just have to pressure him continuously without stopping using the firecracker goblins in the left okay at least he used the poison in defense and not on top of my tower evil wall breakers was not able to connect once again because of the annoying tesla going with the evil recruits void against the little prince goblins in the right wall breakers in the left i have to pressure like i have never done so firecracker come on recruits i need another one okay his right hand tower is not going to charge up charge up easily he used the lock so the goblins should give us some good amount of value void against the little prince firecracker go yes we got a connection finally i got the lead and i think it is over i have to say thanks because with him i knew that there's another big hard counter to the wall breakers and it's the tesla so my opinion on the wall breakers is they are for sure not good because of the dagger ditches and buildings like tesla which evo should i try next